Hey guys, it's Harley Wood, and guess what? More Maxpedition bags. This was actually a user request to see this comparison. This is my Kodiak Gear Slinger, and this is my Falcon 2. For those of you who've been watching the channel, um, you'll recognize that this is my original get home bag. Uh, it's now empty. I've upgraded to the Maxpedition Zafar. I'll put links to both of those right here. So go check those out, good videos. Um, I actually took this one on a winter overnighter when it was 30 degrees. Uh, basically just walked, it left my truck, walked out in the woods, and tried to make it with just my go bag. Um, I suggest you all do that. It is a fantastic learning experience. But this was a comparison because somebody was trying to decide between using the Falcon 2 as their go bag or the um, a gear slinger. And I have the Kodiak. This is my laptop bag for work. If you're not familiar with the, the Gear Slinger series, the biggest thing is you'll notice there is only one strap. Um, I'll put this on in a minute and show you how it slings across your body. It is kind of cool for a few things. Um, my biggest complaint is that all the weight is distributed to one shoulder. There is no way around that. It does have another strap that pulls out from here. And I'll show you this when I put it on. And this kind of wraps around the other side of your body and clips in here. Um, it helps keep it tighter to your body, but it doesn't really help with the weight all that much. So, um, size comparison, they're about the same. You know, honestly, I fit a lot more in this one because it's just so compartmentalized. This one's fairly compartmentalized, and I still have all my daily stuff in here. I'll pull that out in a minute and show you. Um, but this one has a back, uh, pocket, a middle, and two fronts, um, and it also has your water bladder section in the back. This is one of Maxpedition's best-selling bags, and I can see why. It is a fantastic bag. If you told me I had to pick between one of these and wear it every day for, you know, here till whenever, uh, I would definitely go with this. But I want to show you the gear slinger, some of what makes it cool and some of what makes it a pain in the ass. Let me reposition the camera, get this off the table, and we'll take a deeper look. All right. So don't get me wrong, I, I do like this bag. Um, there's nothing really wrong with it per se, but I'm about having the right tool for the right job. So depending on what you plan to use this for, it may or may not be the right thing. Um, as, a, as a laptop bag where all I'm doing is driving to work, going from my truck into the building, it's really fine for that. When I travel, um, I travel to Costa Rica quite a bit to manage one of my teams down there. Um, and you're walking through the airport and you've got you know a jacket tied onto this because there is a strap system that goes on the front when you got a jacket and your laptop and your iPad and maybe a you know a notebook and some stuff like and I've got a little toolkit in here uh, having one strap gets to weigh on you a little bit so let's go ahead and show you some of the compartments in this and um, we'll take it from there so much like the Falcon 2 it's got a compartment on the top it's fairly you know roomy it does have some straps right here on the front so that you could strap some gear down in there. I've got some ibuprofen. Here I've got my external battery pack. Here I've got a knife that's secured in there. Um, some wet wipes, um, a card reader, you know, it's, it's a fairly good compartment. Now it, you'll notice that it opens all the way up underneath here. And this will make more sense in a minute, but it only opens to here. Um, the Gear Slinger series is designed to be slung around your back and have easy access to everything. So I'll show you that here in a little while. On the front, you do have a zippered compartment here. This button is to prevent people from, if you had this open, you could do one of two things. You could either put it through the, the little strapping here. That would prevent someone from walking up behind you and kind of just opening this without you knowing. It's a lot more effort to pop this button off and rework it. So if you open this up, I just keep some charging cables in here. This part's not very deep. It does have good molly webbing. You can see I've got one of my Grim locks on here. Let's open up the next compartment. In here I have some extra napkins, some headphones. If you've watched some of my other videos, I do keep a tool bag with me at almost all times. I mean, just a bunch of stuff in there. And inside I keep a, a pair of gloves. Here's the compartment that I keep the, um, the tool bag in. There's another compartment back here, um, a key, uh, key lock strap. Um, it's, it's fairly well compartmentalized in here. It's got molly webbing running on both sides. 
it does have a water bottle side here with the pull cord to cinch it down tight. So it is very well compartmentalized, much like the Falcon. So, so far they're fairly similar to each other. Let's keep going. Let's open up the back here. Like I said, this is my active work bag. So I've got my laptop in here, or excuse me, my iPad. Got some paperwork, a bunch of cables for hooking up in different places. So it's got a compartment here that you saw I had my iPad in. This can snap closed. I have some glow sticks. I have a map of the Atlanta area inside these uh, webbings here. You can just zip this open and those are accessible. Slip it around this way. On the back side here is where I keep my laptop. Okay, it's got a great compartment. Um, I have a 15 inch MacBook and it fits in there perfect. Again, it's got a great strap with a clip so that you can lock it in. Another set of zippers over here, much like the, the netted ones, but these are not netted. And then in the back of this compartment, it has a hook for like a hook and, and Velcro system. So if you wanted to put a firearm in here, now I'll show you where I keep mine, and it's the beauty of the gear slinger set, but you can put it in that area. So let's close this back up. And let's look at the actual back of it. You'll notice there's another set of zippers here on the back. If you zip this open, this can be a couple of things. You can put a water bladder system back here. There is a hole here to pull the nozzle out of. But I actually keep a holster uh, Velcro, and you heard it, Velcro out of there. There's another hook and loop field in here that you can Velcro this onto. And I have another Velcro piece for two more magazines. Okay. Now when I go to work, these are empty. I, don't, I can't carry these in the building. But if I'm traveling somewhere else, if I'm riding the motorcycle and I'm taking a jacket and stuff with me and I'm riding with this, this is where I keep it. So a great little secret compartment back there. Um, like I said, it does have a strap system that I have in here that Y's over the front and, and compression. it's a compression system. And um, let me throw this on and show you what the gear slinger is actually meant to be used for. All right, guys, here's the gear slinger. As you can see, it's slung over one shoulder. Probably shouldn't have wore a black shirt for this, but it is what it is, right? Here is the strap that I told you comes around from the other side and helps to really lock it to your body a little bit tighter. It does help distribute the weight a little bit. If you really cinch this thing down, this is what I typically take when I ride the motorcycle. You can kind of see the, the clip system here. It does have another clip up here if you want to clip a pair of gloves or something like that. But let me show you what the beauty of the gear slinger is. If you're using this, now it won't work if you have this clipped, but if you don't have this clipped, you can reach around, sling the bag around. Remember I showed you earlier this hidden compartment back here. You can draw and present your firearm from this. Or let's say it's not a threatening you know, situation that you're in. Remember I told you these pouches open up this way. They open up from the side where when it's in this configuration, it almost doesn't make sense that they open like that. But when you're in its gear slinger mode, this makes perfect sense. You can open it up and you have perfect access to everything inside this bag. Same thing with this, it opens here. You've got full access to whatever you have inside. And then the one on top, exact same thing. Zips all the way down and it kind of pancakes open like this. So pretty innovative. Um, it's a really cool bag. It's got a sturdy grab handle here. It's got a sturdy grab handle here. If you're just carrying it this way, or if you want to carry it this way, this is what I typically do when I'm walking in from the truck. I just carry it like this. Um, but it's kind of apples and oranges to the Falcon 2 that you saw earlier. It's a different bag meant for a different purpose. So size-wise, they're about the same. Keep in mind, if you have a lot of weight in this, uh, you're going to feel it and you're probably not going to carry it very long. Um, my wife and I have traveled quite a bit and we went on a cruise recently and I debated which bag to bring, the Falcon or this. I brought this and I regretted it almost every step of the way. Even with just some towels and sunblock and stuff like that, I mean constantly all day. I was doing this and trying to hold the weight up off my shoulder, uh, you know, sitting out like this. It's, it's just a very heavy, uh, even though this is an extremely well padded bag. I mean, the strap's very well padded, but it is a lot of weight to carry on one shoulder. So take it for what it's worth. This is the Maxpedition Kodiak Gear Slinger. Thanks for watching, and uh, hit the subscribe button below. We'll see you on the next one.